many more. Down he goes, and Dracula stops the fight. Ah! never got to that. statement here. Emmanuel Stewart, if I were David Diaz, I would enter round one looking to ask Manny Pacquiao one significant question. Did you train to take body punches? Are you ready to get hit in the gut? Well, I think that's what he should do, too. But, you know, we're looking at Manny. To me, I'm just amazed that this guy's fighting that for his fourth different weight division championship. And look at his body. I mean, usually when a smaller guy moves up to the division, you see a lot of fat or something like Duran. He looks perfect. Looked like he was born to be a lightweight. A spectacular athlete from beginning to this point of his career. Never once has he looked out of place in any weight class in which he's fought. The body just keeps getting better and better. And already Diaz begins to hit him in the body with the punches that are aimed at asking how well Pacquiao is trained, and already Pacquiao shows the speed advantage that makes him so special. But I look at Pacquiao sees the tight defense of Diaz. He was covering up him on the top, but he's trying to find a way to come up between his uh, gloves. But took the same with his left uppercut. <laughs> See, he's just trying to right there because he's very smart. He realizes it's not going to be that easy to get him to the head on top at the beginning. David Diaz is a fast lightweight, but he's a strong lightweight. He's not easy to put away in a cold breeze, and Pacquiao can't expect for anything to happen quickly here. Pacquiao's is boxing tonight. Terrific combinations by Pacquiao. Many of the punches being blocked, however, by Diaz's gloves. Yeah, but Pacquiao's boxing, using his footwork, his movement, was a lot different than I've ever seen him fight before. For the first time, he's got somebody that probably that he's faster than. the adoration of the crowd. In reference to what he knew the crowd would be, Diaz said, in our Mexican heritage, we have a statement, pocos pero locas. In other words, we may be smaller, but we're crazy enough to make our presence felt. Uppercut by Pacquiao, mixing his punches brilliantly. Cactus Diaz with a left hand. Diaz blocking ardently with his gloves, but on the defensive before he finally breaks out with another attempted body shot. Diaz is doing a pretty good job defensive, but he can't do too much offensive simply because he's not fast enough yet. Until Pacquiao slows down, it's going to be hard for him to do anything offensive. And a smart a chief second, a guy who will carry the spit bucket, Strickland has said, if David could beat Manny Pacquiao, I might retire. Diaz says, no way. I'm not going to let him. And you heard Freddie Roach very pleased with the way his fighter fought round one. Copy box numbers, Pacquiao 19 out of 91. Diaz only 9 out of 43. Again, the uppercut with a left hand from Pacquiao. Again, a body shot from Diaz. Momentarily drives Manny back. Hand speed advantage tremendously in Pacquiao's favor. Yeah, Pacquiao's doing a beautiful job of boxing. He's putting his combinations together, getting in and out. Good left hand by Diaz. Caught Pacquiao right between punches. Lands a left hand on the chin again. This one a more glancing blow. Pacquiao with a big left hand lead over the top. And another uppercut. But he has not been landing. Those punches are not landing. Diaz is catching the punches for the most part. Doing a good job with his tight guard, David Diaz. All those punches are blocked. And those. And there he is. David is willing to weather the storm, looking for his few chances here and there. 
Yeah, Patrick's throwing a lot of punches, but I haven't saw that much land, you know, and, and I don't know if he's going to keep up this pace, because normally he moves around, as I said, rests, and then explodes. But he's consistently boxing this fight, which is good. But I don't know if he can keep that up all throughout the whole fight. Blackout trying to thrash Diaz with speed. Catches him with a right and a left there. Crowd looking for him to land something big. And Diaz didn't manage to block the right hand. Big left over the top by Pacquiao. Big left over the top by Diaz. Blood coming from the right eye of David Diaz. Already Pacquiao has brought blood from Diaz. 40 seconds still to go in a wildly active round two. Pacquiao lands his right hook. Jim Strickland, the manager of Diaz, normally works in most fights as a cut man. So he'll get a chance to practice on his own fight at the end of this round. Is he a good one, Emmanuel? It's a good cut. Your head in his chest. Right. And you weak. Here we see Pacquiao through something that's very unusual. Beautiful combination. Right uppercut, then followed by left, up, right uppercut, up between the gloves. That may cut or possibly cause the cut on the nose. Well, you've done cuts, no. Emmanuel. Tell us about the difficulty of a cut right on the bridge of the nose. The bridge of the nose is very difficult. It does, it's not serious. It doesn't bleed too much. And, you know, your adrenaline chloride and thrombin and the regular stuff would usually get it to coagulate. It doesn't bleed too much. Even though there was no knockdown, Harold Letterman scored the second round. A 10-8 round for Pacquiao, who had a landslide in power punches, landing 34 of 83 to only 7 of 25 for Diaz. A wildly active Pacquiao threw 114 punches in the second round. David Diaz won't just go away. Pacquiao's speed is just right. It just stayed just too much, and that's the big difference in the fight. Not only is he boxing, but he's doing a variety of things. He's jabbing, he's doing right hooks, right uppercuts, left hands over top. He's doing so many different things. He looks spectacular, and he's doing it against the southpaw after not having fought one for years. Big right hook by Pacquiao. Another big right hook right on the button by Pacquiao. David Diaz has a stern chin, and he's taking these punches pretty well. Well, it's going to be put to the test tonight, but Pacquiao's hitting with punches. I mean, it, 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 it consistently uh, with both hands. Just, okay, David's speed is just too low right now. He what David needs to do is to go plant his head on Manny Pacquiao's chest and not move away. Yeah, but he's, he's just too slow. Two good body shots for Diaz. And a third for good measure. Pacquiao again with that right hook, right uppercut combination. Tremendous work with the right hand by Pacquiao. Hooking and uppercutting just the same way we saw Andre Berto do it with his backhand last week. Pacquiao's doing it with his lead hand. speed and skill of Manny Pacquiao is amazing to behold. It's interesting to see him throwing a right hook and all these type of punches that he normally can't throw on the standard right-hand fighter. So he's fighting a left-hand fighter so he can do everything. Well, remember when Pacquiao was great, even as a totally predictable jab, jab, left-hand fighter? Now he's added all this variety to his game. And still with the same physical talent. of David Diaz is one of the key measures to making the fight watchable so far. He's too brave to just go away amid the onslaught from Pacquiao. Diaz mostly blocking that right hook. Pacquiao gets to his body. Just missed with what would have been a big left-hand connect in Pacquiao. Two body shots from Diaz. And a third one as the round comes to a close. Let's go straight. Yeah. You see right here, you see Pacquiao throwing his right hook, something that he can't normally do when he's fighting the standard right-handed fighter, and he seems to love it. That's been his pet punch so far the rest most of the fight.
I was watching him. He's looking past Fred Roche. He was giving instruction, looking at the replay in the arena. <laughs> Admiring his work. Yeah. It brings a whole new meaning to the old boxing <laughs> phrase, admiring your work. You know, normally as a fighter, Pacquiao's known for that powerful straight left. You know, jab, jab with his right hand, a hard straight left. And he's changing up. He's got a guy that he can do everything with now because it's a, 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 a right a left, a left hand, and he's doing it too. Harold, how do you have it through three? <laughs> Look at you. Three rounds to nothing. 30 to 26, Manny Pacquiao. Jim, I can't remember a southpaw oh, who can throw Lord. four or five right hands before he pulls his right hand back. Incredible. He, he throws a hook, a jab, an uppercut, and finally he'll pull his right hand back. It's amazing. I mean, Roy Jones used to do it with a left hand, but this kid is amazing with that right hand. Three and nothing, Pacquiao. Give him an extra point in round two where he hit Diaz with everything but the stool and the referee. The early evidence on Pacquiao moving up to lightweight. Gee, maybe he's finally found a weight Hi. class where he can be really maybe good. <laughs> and, he, and, and he seems to be enjoying it. I think he needs to fight more southpaws, so he enjoys it. And Vic Draculich calls a halt to the action he's good, he's good. so that David Diaz's nose cut can be examined. And I think it's eye cut now. It's a little bit more serious. This was one of the possibilities. And because of his blinding speed and major advantages, when at distance, Pacquiao would be able to cut Diaz up. And Diaz's only response is to get more aggressive and try to do more damage. And that's what he's trying to do. Leaving himself open for Pacquiao's assaults. Speed is just too much. And, 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 and the fact that Pacquiao's doing everything and moving and twisting and pivoting and turning all while he's punching. A southpaw Jack Dempsey in the lightweight division. A non-stop aggressor with speed and power beyond compare. Just the whole body rhythm and coordination of Diaz is just too slow. And a cut now above the right eye of Diaz, as you said, Emmanuel. So he's bleeding from the nose, and he's bleeding from above the right eye, and he's getting hit flush with a lot of Pacquiao shots. No matter how hard Diaz works to cover up against these onslaughts, Manny Pacquiao is simply too fast and too good. Perfect shot by Pacquiao. Diaz shakes his head as if to say to the referee, I'm okay. I know I just got hit with a howitzer, but I'm still here. the same time the difference this in hand speed is, is so i haven't been able to hand speed as well as a foot speed right there diaz not only a hand speed but he just can't deal with all the twisting and pivoting that diaz i mean that pacquiao's putting into the fight also diaz's left eye is beginning to swell we're told that the cut to the right eye but you stand here we see what possibly could have been the cause of the uh, butt which was a head butt right there Well, that created the big cut over the right eye. But it's a moot point whether the cut is created by a butt or a punch at this point because of the violent onslaughts that Pacquiao is mounting. 155. He's averaging 64 power punches thrown per round. There's no way you're going to beat him if he's getting off that many shots. It is a brilliant and stunningly effective performance by Pacquiao so far. And Diaz is getting seriously behind because, you know, being that he's not a devastating one-punch knockout fighter, once you get behind on points like this, it's going to be very, very hard for him to pull this fight out. You know, and even when he comes back, y'all just a little too fast, a little too sharp, and, and steadily moving and twisting and turning, punching, going in and out. And Diaz just in his footwork, he's just too clumsy and slow and stiff. Two good body shots there by the determined and gutty David Diaz. Keeps demonstrating that as far as attitude is concerned, he won't take no for an answer. Hard right hand by Pacquiao. Uppercut stuns Diaz again. Pacquiao's ability to put his punches together with blinding speed is amazing. Leading with hooks crosses and uppercuts. Pacquiao more or less dispensing with the jab. 
because he doesn't really need to set anything up. No, he doesn't. He just, he just really pretty much just having target practice right now for the most part. Left hand pops out across the top. Two quick right hands inside. Another uppercut. And Diaz, in the face of all that, comes forward. The bloody mask speaks for itself. It's very interesting. After Pacquiao has always been known as the puncher, the puncher. Now to see him being a really technical character all around boxer fighters is really a thing of beauty because I never expected him to look this good from his boxing in this fight. Even though I thought he would move more than not to do the things that he's doing. And incidentally, in case you're really paying attention to Manny Pacquiao for the first time and you're looking at the possible fights ahead, how good is Juan Manuel Marquez of Mexico? Well, consider this. In two fights against Pacquiao, Marquez has won more rounds than Pacquiao has won. That's how good he is. If it weren't for the four knockdowns that Pacquiao has applied to Marquez, Marquez would have won both fights. Now Diaz gets a couple of answers in there. What guts! What determination by David Diaz! Left hand by Diaz momentarily stops the Pacquiao assault. <laughs> the stars. Our shots in round five. Diaz seven Go. out of 45. Go. Manny Pacquiao 27 out of 56. Emmanuel Stewart, the layman. Not all that familiar with boxing would look at Diaz's face and say, how can he be allowed to continue under these circumstances? Yeah, because he is a world champion, and they do stop it between rounds, but I'm a little bit kind of disappointed. I thought that uh, it would have coagulated a lot better than it has at this stage, but it's, it's, it seems as soon as the bell ring, he goes out and starts bleeding as if they didn't put anything on it. Well, Jim Strickland's got a lot on his hands, trying to stop two bad cuts and try to talk his fighter through the fight at the same time. That's exactly what I was thinking of. You know, well, normally when he's just a cut man, it's different because he concentrates entirely on the cut, but he's trying to talk all the way through the fight. I think uh, Jim is actually a pharmacist by trade, too. Action slows momentarily in round six. They trade jabs in the center of the ring. Again, the dramatic hand speed advantage for Pacquiao, quite visible. Despite everything he's taken, David Diaz still willing to lunge forward, looking to land one shot. He's not exactly a power puncher either. Watch ahead, watch ahead, let's go. Come on, no way Diaz will quit. He's totally willing to go out on his shield. So that puts pressure on the referee and medical authorities to be sure that they protect yeah. him in the right way. As you know, can see Pacquiao's really concentrating on dropping those shots right on that eye to him. He's landing a tremendous left cross right on the eye. And he seems like loading up trying to lift power punches now. Pacquiao's not a sadist, he's a sportsman at heart, but he will do what has to be done, which is to continue to go after the damage he's already done to David Diaz. Diaz has to be earning the respect of the crowd as he continues to fire resolutely in round six. And the Pacquiao storm once again continues. A tsunami. A hurricane, a tornado, incomparable ring violence for this era in boxing. The cut seems to be a big factor in this. So, you know, actually, the ring doctor says he's okay. I'm sure that Diaz would agree. When he beat Eric Morales last year, he did it with his right eye swollen up like a tennis ball, completely shut.
But one eye is right, swelling right, right. and the other one is bleeding and they haven't seemingly stopped the, the flow of blood. And as soon as the bell rings, it starts bleeding right away again. It's a big factor in this fight. Here we see Pacquiao throwing punches in such a volume and they're all coming from different angles. He's mixing up and that's why it's so hard for Diaz to stop the punches because he's not just throwing one punch or two. It's just the speed and the variety of punches is just too much for him. Well, a perfect line of expert commentary there between rounds by Diaz. Close. I can handle his punches. He's just too fast. That's the story of what's happened so far. Harold Letterman, how do you have it through six? That makes it six to nothing, 60 to 53, maybe Pacquiao. Maybe I'm being a little bit more generous than I should be. I think there's a lot more 10 right, eight rounds right. mixed in there somewhere. But there's a major, I gotta point this out. He's cut over the right eye. Initially, that cut was caused by an accidental headbutt. If this fight gets stopped, that, that cut is being made worse by legal blows. If the fight gets stopped, because we're beyond the fourth round, it, they'll go to the scorecards to determine the winner. But certainly, Pacquiao is way ahead on the scorecards. But normally, we look at Pacquiao as such a power puncher. Now, he's a, he's a crafty technical boxer in this fight. And let me just reinterpret what Harold said. What you're saying, Harold, is that he can't win the fight strictly because of that cut because he didn't cause it with a punch. It'll go to the scorecards and it'll win. He can't win it on a TKO. That's correct. Whichever way it goes, he's going to win this fight unless they end up with another disqualification. Look at the combinations. To the degree that boxing can be a demonstration of supreme violence mixed with artistic brilliance, that's what Manny Pacquiao is providing tonight. David Diaz keeps plugging away. He wasn't as fast as Zab Judah in 1996 either. But he somehow got that done. He wasn't as fast as Armando Santa Cruz two summers ago in Chicago. But he somehow got that done. His career will never be compared with that of the great Eric Morales. But he somehow got that done. So don't tell David Diaz he doesn't have a chance. Oh, no, no, no. He doesn't believe you. Incidentally, right. lest you think that Pacquiao may have no other talents besides what he shows you in the ring, he's currently enrolled in college courses back in the Philippines. When he goes to class to sit in a college classroom, five armed bodyguards have to wait outside the building. Plus he says, well, even in class, he spends more time signing autographs than he does doing homework or studying. The teachers... <laughs> like the students, scream and, and shout when he comes into the room and slower fighter to deal with speed is to try to interrupt the action and make the faster fighter fight when he doesn't want to. There hasn't been a moment in this fight when Manny Pacquiao didn't want to assault David Diaz. So it's very difficult for Diaz to find any moment at which to make a statement. He's gotten in some body punches, but mostly he's taken big shots. As he said, he, he, when he told Strickland about two rounds back, he just can't handle the speed. And I think that's a good, a good way to sum it up. There's too much of speed. Very well, we wondered if Pacquiao would look any slower at 135 pounds than he did at 126 and 130. And Emmanuel, I think the early returns may be made a little bit more dramatic because of the absence of speed from the opponent. Is if anything, he looks faster. He looks faster, more natural, looks stronger. All the way down, much more devastating. Soon this rough, rough fight's gonna have to stop for the soon. The referee's gonna have to stop the fight. Diaz gets in a good left uppercut of his own. Fires a straight jab, comes forward to make clear, I'm still a fighter, I'm not gonna go away. But at this point, you worry about how badly is David Diaz gonna get hurt by continuing to take punishment in a fight where he's not gonna go down, not gonna get knocked out. He blocked a lot of those shots. Sometimes the knockout 
is a merciful event. Yes, because right now, even when Diaz throws punches, there's no power. He just push him and stumble and fall it in. But it, there's no power. So it's just a matter of time before he gets knocked out, unless the referee out of corner stops the fight. And if it's the kind of mercy that puts you on your back is not going to take place, then it's up to the referee and the medical supervisors at ringside to deliver corner. mercy on their own. Yeah, I think the referee's getting in position to stop the fight. Now. He's looking entirely strictly at, at his eye and his face. So he's getting in a position and his mind is functioning on stopping the fight now. Increasingly on the defensive, Diaz has less and less to offer as the eighth round goes on. The crowd has gotten its money's worth. The crowd has seen the show they wanted to see. Manny Pacquiao has made his statement. There isn't much reason beyond a few moments like that for this to keep going forward. If ever you knew in advance that if things got bad, an opponent would be too brave for his own good, you knew it tonight. Yeah, I think the quarter should stop the fight. It would be a graceful way to end it, but it's over for all practice. Time! The Diaz's punch output has been dropping. 65 punches thrown in the fifth, 57 in the sixth, 50 in the seventh, only 38 in the eighth. Surely a serious consideration must now be given to stopping the fight in the ninth if things continue the way they've been. I guess, given the accepted traditional ethic in the sport, Emmanuel, if this were Pacquiao's title belt instead of Diaz's, it would have been stopped before now. It probably would have. You know, the, the Diaz going to keep coming all night long as they let him. But it, even when he punches, he's ineffective. He's not a knockout puncher, so he's not going to probably perform a one-punch miracle. It just how much more punch damage can he take before the fight eventually ends. He's had his moment in the sun. He's got an $800,000 guarantee. And the chance for pay-per-view benefits if the buy rate rises above a certain level. He got a lot of publicity before the fight saying, I'm driving a 1991 Honda with no air conditioning. He's going to get a chance to buy a new car. Well, he might end up with a million dollars for this fight, so, which is a good paycheck. And, and he's, he's did a good job. He's just not talented enough to compete on this level with the top fighters. But he's brave enough to compete on any level. And, and get he's hurt. proven that. falls into his arms. If the idea here is that there's some honor in allowing David Diaz to finish the fight, that would be a very misplaced instinct. It's, it's not worth it. There's plenty of honor for Diaz tonight. It won't be in some way embellished by letting him go to a bloodier, more brutal finish. anymore. Down he goes, and Dracula stops the fight. He should have never got to that. Welcome to the lightweight division. Manny Pacquiao was sensational tonight. He put on a clinic and it proved that he was much more than just a power puncher. A flame of pure fire. He did it all. Incomparable in the sport. There's only one. 